folks, Joe here at the Tango Joe Show, and it's review time. We're going to review a product that we've tried several times and liked it every single time. Today, it's Coakley's Barbecue Sauce on the Tango Joe Show. Now this fine sauce, this fine barbecue sauce, is bottled by Lloyd Coakley, hence the name Coakley's Barbecue Sauce. Now I had the pleasure of meeting Lloyd and spending the day with him over the Labor Day weekend at a big fancy party in Indiana. Tell you what, fine gentleman, good guy. Now, the first thing you notice with the uh, Coakley's, it's in a big wide mouth jar, which you're gonna need because it's a nice thick sauce. I like to use a spoon to get it out of here. Mason type lid, keeps it fresh. Sticks to the lid too, nice and thick. Finger licking good too. Tell you what. Stands up the spoon. Now here we have one of our little plastic shot glasses that we always use. But this is nice and thick. It runs real slow. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the spoon. That smells really good. Slightly vinegary, a little bit fruity. You can smell it's got some spice to it. So far so good, right? Mmm. Now right off the bat, you notice it has a pretty good kick. I'm surprised. Some barbecue sauces, a little ketchupy, not too much going on there. This one's got a nice little bite to it, which I'm thinking I'm going to be pumping up some recipes with this. Even the Bloody Mary recipe. That's the next step. We got to see if this will make a nice Bloody Mary. I'm thinking so. So now we're over here in the Tango Bar. We're going to mix up a very basic Bloody Mary to give our Coakley sauce a try. And the thing is, will it marry? I think it will. I think this will be really good. So we have our shaker here with a little bit of ice in it. We start off always with some Southwest Sunset, our red chili powder, just because. About an eighth of a teaspoon, quarter of a teaspoon, depends on how you feel. A little teeny bit of celery salt, just because. We like celery salt. Couple of splashes of Worcester sauce. Ooh, smelling good already. I'm gonna go good with the steak. Next, we're gonna take a tablespoon of pickle juice. This is a uh, full sour dill. So, yeah, these are some mighty fine pickles from Pickle Pack and Papa in Rocky Point, New York. One tablespoonful of their full sour dill. We like to have the big time flavor in our Bloody Marys. Now, we use an ounce and a half of Long Island Vodka, our very own Long Island Vodka, in our Texas shot glass. Now we're going to add a tablespoon of Coakley's to our Bloody Mary. Grab a fresh clean tablespoon. There you go. Give it a lick. This stuff is good. Thank you, Lloyd. Add some V8 juice, why not? Get it? Pour that in there. And just a couple of quick shakes, nothing too major. Don't want to crush up the ice. Coakley's in there, getting mixed up with all the other goodness. Gonna use our Grim Reaper, Grim Reaper smoker's glass. It's Coakley Bloody Mary time. A little bit of celery, some, uh, one, one scallion, one green onion. That smells mighty nice. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. Coakley's does make good Bloody Marys. Try one today. Now, we should try some on some food. What do you think? We've had it in a shot glass, on a teaspoon, had our Bloody Mary, I can make quite a few with these. Let's try it on some food, shall we? That's next. Today's show brought to you by Coakley's Barbecue Sauce. 
Okay, so we're out here where the barbecue is, and today we have a couple of chicken thighs on the grill, just in case we're gonna be popping open that bottle of Coakley's barbecue sauce, which we're reviewing today. That awesome sauce that worked so great in that Bloody Mary. Right now we're using our $3 Weber 18 inch. That's right, three bucks, man. You can get a barbecue for $3 if you check Craigslist, check the yard sales. You don't have to have some big old expensive barbecue, three, four, five dollars. So that's what we got. We have our Weber 18 inch with offset coals, four chicken thighs with our own Cajun rub on it. We're gonna smear some uh, Coakley's on there as they're starting to finish and get a glaze going and they should be awesome. Coakley's a barbecue sauce review. So far, the stuff has been freaking awesome. Let's check this out. Hey, look at that. Four nice juicy chicken thighs. With just a little bit of our Cajun rub on top. Offset set there on our $3 barbecue. Look, I put the Coakley's in a squeeze bottle just because it makes it so much easier to use. We're just going to put a little dab on top. And the way we like to do it, heck with them brushes, man. Just smooth that on there. Get a feel for them thighs. We're gonna let these go for another couple of minutes and come out here and put another coat on them because these things are almost ready to go. Smells awesome. Yeah, Lloyd Coakley, Coakley's barbecue sauce. Okay, we're back inside the Tango Bar, and we have our four chicken thighs. Oh man, that Coakley sauce just smells incredible on these. Tell you what, I have a roll of paper towels because this is a multiple paper towel eat. No forks, no knives, no plates. Just, just take it right out of here, take a bite and say, oh, this is really, really good. We did the taste test, we did the Bloody Mary test, and now, the chicken thighs. Coakley's barbecue sauce. Thank you, Lloyd, for producing such a great product. Mmm. <laughs> wow. It's like a glaze on there. It's so good. Got that tang. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to recommend you to go to Coakley's website, which is down below, and get yourself some Coakley's barbecue sauce. Oh look, my jar runneth empty. Good stuff, man. I'm digging it. We'd like to thank you for joining us here on the Tango Joe Show. If you like what we're doing, hit subscribe. Please, we enjoy all the subscribers. We invite you in to see what we're doing. And again, get yourself some Coakley's, man. I'm going to go back to eating. See you next time.